a discussion for you then. Has streaming killed the mid-tier actor? Oh, so I saw um, someone else stitch your video and the first thing that came to mind was I saw a tweet about something similar that you asked. And for the life of me, I can't find the tweet. Um, and I'm also too lazy to scroll that far back on my Twitter feed because that's yikes feel there. Um, but it's not streaming services. It's the stories and it's the studios. So, like, you can see the DVDs behind my shelf, right? A lot of the actors that I watch in those are actors who are either A, retired now, or B, have gotten to the point where they're like, we've got enough money, we'll just pick a film if it interests us. Or C, they've been in the game long enough that they're still acting because they don't know how to do anything else. I don't follow a lot of new actors or young actors actors and I think that's a huge reason is it's not the actor's fault it's just the fact that we've got these same cookie cutter sort of storylines that actors aren't given a chance to grow and when they have a chance to grow they kind of get pulled out of it because they're like it's it's not a new experience I don't like this experience I like my comfort zone and I guess you could say the same thing about older actors but I think older actors had spent majority of their career trying to find something that works for them before finding their comfort role. So like, for example, you can look at someone like Tom Holland. He's experimented with his career up until Spider-Man. And then Spider-Man comes along and now he's found his comfort zone and he's kind of slightly stepped back, but he's not challenged himself as well. Or if you look at someone like, God, I don't even know who to think of. <laughs> it's so bad but like you get what I mean like you've got these young actors and that when you watch them they're like yes they can go far they can do this you would think that they're going to be the next Audrey Hepburn but you watch every role they're in it's the same role just different character name maybe even the same outfit at most it's because no one's allowing these young stars to have a chance to explore their career and that these young stars either retire because they hit A-list leagues by their second film. Or they burn out because by their fifth film, everyone's seen them in the same role and they've only done five movies. So I think it, it's the studios who are forcing these stars not to grow. That the audiences are looking at them and going, we, we didn't ask for this. We didn't ask for someone like Zac Efron to be in the same movie. There were actors in the older demographic that I purposely avoid because they're in their comfort roles. But I know in their early work, they challenge themselves. Whereas you look, like I said, you look at the young kids, they are not allowed to challenge themselves. They're not allowed a chance to, to try anything new. And, um, and it really does come down to the studios. Again, you look at the films that we put out now. Look at the films that we watch now. They're all existing IPs or they're, they're spin-offs or they're something that already has a big hit behind it. They don't get a chance to be in original films. Most of the stuff behind me is original films. The new kids don't get to be in that. The new kids get to be in remakes. The new kids get to be in reboots. The new kids get to be in anything that has it or an existing IP. And the only times they don't get to be in those movies is like when it's too late for them to have a chance to grow. And I just realized I've said the same thing for like four minutes long without a distinctive reasoning. But that's my opinion. And if I could be bothered, sorry, if I could be bothered to go find that tweet, I would show you a bit more length, but I can't find it. But it is a very interesting discussion to have though.